Did you see the other video where I showed how this is supposed to be a full ball? That's supposed to look like that one. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't notice that the slicer didn't put a brim on. The other stuff that was on the plate at the same time was on a brim. This, this uh, batch of items, this grouping of items was not, and of course that's way too small uh, contact surface on the bottom, so it got knocked over. Here's what those parts look like. Here are the four parts that I had to reprint here in the slicer. Whew, I just caught that stuff falling. And here's what it looks like after I came into the others setting here in Elegoo Slicer and went down to Brim and set it to, let's see, it was on auto. And when you do auto, I'll show you what happens here when we slice. See, it did not put brims on these for some reason. So I'm gonna come back over here and change that to outer and inner. Does it need both? I don't know probably just needs an outer brim because there's nothing that's going to touch on the bottom anyway. But uh, regardless, there we go. Now we have a brim. I sent it to the printer already and you can see it is printing. Let's walk over to the printer and have a look and see what it looks like. All right, so the three balls on a stick there or on a uh, threaded rod finished okay. None of them got knocked over this time. That's amazing. That big brim, you can see the five millimeter brim is kind of the inner circle here and it kind of looks like that one got pulled up a little. So I'm glad I extended it to a 10 millimeter instead of a, just a five millimeter brim. And here is the last part that's going to go up and then the whole thing's going to spread out a little bit at the top. That is going to be half of the clamping structure. This is going to be a larger version, this, uh, a different type. I mean, a third hand arrangement where you put little clamps on the end and when you're soldering things, you clamp multiple arms to it to hold it still so you don't have to steady the part. You can just worry about soldering. Well, this is gonna be a much larger set for a different use. So maybe larger guitar parts will be held with this one and little things, little wires will be held with the other one. Looks like it's going okay so far. You think it's gonna make it all the way to the top and finish? Let me know.